Hey guys. guys, and welcome back to Smitty Buddies. I'm Isa. I'm Priscilla. And today we're going to be talking about our book, X. X. Icky. We don't <clears throat> like it. That's the definition, in case you're. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Before we start, mm. comment down your like top book, Ick. Like, what is one thing that you would probably DNF a book for? Yeah. And also, because I'm going to say here, just in case, just in case, we're doing our 3K giveaway. If you want to enter, you need to go to our TikTok. Mm -hmm. It's in our bio. It's, money buddies. it's in our link tree. Yeah. You go bio, you go link tree, and you click Tiki Talk. And that's where we are. Yeah. Yeah. So anything to say before we start? Oh, and also another thing. Yeah, me. I have something to say. Thank you guys so much for all the love and support that you have been giving us oh my god yeah where all these wonderful people came from i don't know thank god that we don't you're here no one no one has commented anything badly yeah Yeah. my god yeah well someone called us illiterate even though we're not even writing but (laughs) they call us illiterate we're very professional yeah yeah so we sounded illiterate but you know it's it's okay it's okay like and i think they spelled something wrong too but anyways we're not here to talk talk shit exactly we're we're not shit talkers yeah no we're not like that so today we're gonna be talking about eggs (laughs) today we're We're gonna gonna be be talking shit about about books ish not specific books yeah but just eggs i do want to say that these are our book eggs so if you don't agree or this is something that's not really an egg to you we mean no offense. Yeah. This, you know, is just our opinion, as always. We hope you guys don't take it too seriously. Yeah. I know a lot of people like a specific one that I think both of us has. Yeah. Have. Both of us have. Yeah. Not has. Whoa, I sounded illiterate there. <laughs> Sometimes we have a little slip up. Sometimes okay. a little. It's okay. It's okay. You know, it's okay. Like, Sometimes when I'm editing, I'm like, wait, that didn't make sense. Like I say, like has instead of have. You don't mind, right? I don't think they mind. They, I think they understand. Yeah. I y'all get the it. y'all get the point. They get the which point. Which is what's important. Yeah, that's it. Mm-hmm. Okay, so let's let's get into it. Who's let's starting? Into you want to start with like the number one, which is like I hope a book kick for like most people. Like both of ours? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So our first book ick. Cheating. Oh yeah, I fucking hate cheating. Dude, I don't know. Dude. (laughs) I don't know who is like okay with that. Like, it's kind of not my thing. And like I understand if like you want to justify that the person that they're with is like a piece of shit. But sometimes it happens and, like, the other person is not, like, the person they're actually with is not a bad person. So, I don't know. They try to, like, justify the cheating trope. I wouldn't want to be cheated on, so I kind of don't want to read about that. No, it's not okay, period. Yeah. Period, it's not okay. Yeah. Honestly, I feel like if you don't like the person you're with or you guys are just, like, not vibing or you guys don't love each other anymore, you could leave. Mm-hmm. okay be, okay therapist ain't nobody forcing okay. you to stay couples therapy <laughs> nobody's so like, forcing you to stay so like if you decide to cheat that's on you that's all i'm saying yeah no i don't like it the whole reason why i'm reading a book is because i want to happily ever after yeah. i want to read about a perfect couple mm-hmm. that might have like their own like little you know mm-hmm. argument mm-hmm. and then go back to being perfect yeah perfect 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 that's all i want that's why i'm yeah, reading a book fiction fiction yeah. hello yeah so I don't want to read about cheating. No. Uh, my turn? My book? Mm-hmm. All right. My first one, which I know it's yours. I fucking hate Insta love or Insta lust. I hate it. Dude. I hate it. I, I want, too. yes, I want them to hate each other for yeah. real. I don't like in the you when like in the beginning. Lovers. Yeah. Like I don't like when in the beginning he's like, Oh my gosh, she's the most beautiful. She's the most beautiful That's girl my wife. I've ever seen. That's the, the mother of my children. Yes. Or like, like he's immediately attracted to her and uh, like it's checking her out. You know what I mean? Like I want them to hate each other first. Yeah. And then Or like to hate her be like like, bro, oh, I fucking hate this bitch, but damn she fine. Yeah. Or like it starts off like emotionally. 
and yes. then it grows yes. to something physical mm-hmm. that's what i like yeah. yeah but i'm not really into the insta love no it makes it boring yeah. it makes if they're already into each other what's yeah, there's the no point? point there's no yeah. plot like yeah yes. you guys are probably going through like other shit but yes and then it's always that the girl usually like you know like she finds the guy attractive Mm -hmm. but she like hates him but she doesn't hate him like for real for real so yeah and then he's like going after her like he's chasing after her i don't like him i don't like Mm -mm. we don't like that here Mm -mm. but that's that's the end of mine next one for me sharing Oh, sharing is caring. The title of our last video. Oh, you know, I know some of y'all freaky. Some of y'all freaky. Some of y'all, you know, invite someone over, you know. Oh, my God. Wait, can we deviate really quick? (laughs) Have you seen on TikTok the fucking swingers cruise? No. Oh, my God. What? (laughs) Bitch, it's a cruise, right? And all these swingers get on it. Like young or old? Or like old. Old? They're old. They're swingers. Ooh. Okay. But, you know, there could be young people too. I'm not sure. Okay, okay, but okay. the people that I saw were old mm-hmm. looking. <laughs> What's old to you? Like they, 50s? I'm not going to say. <laughs> Just in case. No, they, they looked older than us. Mm. <laughs> but anyways, so these swingers get on mm. this cruise ship. And on their door, it says, like, their names and these yes and these specific people they brought like goodie bags to give to other couples oh, okay this is the whole cruise the whole cruise is a swingers cruise you think but it's expensive thing- imagine I- housekeeping Ooh, <laughs> i would be mad the thing with swingers is that i don't like they're not having foursomes right well they're they're interchanging could, right they're like interchanging partners like like you, would you mean get, like in a group like all of them are just like could it be like a foursome it could be right i guess but oh naked parties and public sex i went on a cruise with 300 swingers i would fucking kill myself oh my god no judgment but the though. thing, no judging, the thing no judging. yeah girl like, i'm not man. judging i'm not judging but i wouldn't do it <laughs> yeah i probably wouldn't go on a cruise with swingers. but it just it was different so i was like oh they got like goodie bags for people to like fuck imagine like like just meeting what's people what's in the goodie bag i don't remember like condoms probably maybe i, I hope that shit i up. hope i yeah, don't catch anything i hope they got condoms and like they decorate their doors too with like, probably, like pictures of what themselves. Do, what do we like? And the guy's like, you know, I like to up the booty hole sometimes. Oh. Mm. The girl's like, I mean, whatever you want, baby. Yeah, you want go me to ahead. touch your prostate? I got you. I'll prostate tickle exam. it. We don't need, you don't even got to go to the doctors. You don't go to the, I'll tell you if you got prostatitis. <laughs> <laughs> My butt is down. I'll tell you if you got prostatitis. I oh got you. God. Okay, so so back to the sharing trope. Yes, my bad. You continue. <laughs> we deviate a lot, as always. It's okay. Continue, my bad. I just, I don't know. And I've read. I'm just gonna bring it up. I'm just gonna bring up the book because why not? Like, so I love the Lords series. Okay. Which is like the ritual. Okay. The sinner. I haven't so read it. The last one that I read, it's like dark romance. So the last one that I read, which was book number five, Carnage. I think the one of the reasons why I rated this book so low, so low, was because she, like, has a man's. Obviously, she has, like, her main man's. But this man lets his two best friends fuck his girl up, up her ass. Strictly up the ass. Strictly up the ass. Hmm. Interesting. Mm-hmm. And then, like, I think one of them was, like, in love with her. Oh my gosh yeah. yeah i don't like that yeah he probably fell in love yeah. with her because she was letting him he felt that ass yeah exactly he liked like, he liked the anus the tightness the tightness <laughs> mm, you're so, so like, you're so tight cuz i don't I don't, uh, <laughs> I don't know there's like scenarios where i'm like but then uh, like credence yeah you see but credence is like a taboo book she's not really with any of them okay. i kind of don't really like when it's like you have a man's and he's okay like sharing you with his buddies like blood and ash 
Yes. That's not, that was not okay. That was not, not okay. okay. Castillo, I don't know what you were doing. You lost points with me. Me too. I you wanted him to be like, bro. no. Die, motherfucker. Die. You know, every time I see that fucking fan art, I don't know who made it. But whoever made it, you're sick. <laughs> the one where she's like, the one where, where she's like, Castillo's up against, no, who is it? No, no, no. Kyrian is up against the wall. And then he has her from like behind, and then Castillo's like biting her neck, some shit like that. No, no, no? I've never oh, seen okay. that. Can you show it to me? <laughs> <laughs> Let me see if I find this. Oh, this no, goodness. the one I'm talking about is the one of them kissing the dog. Cause Kieran's a dog. He's a fucking oh, dog. Oh, the one where she's like kissing the cheek. Yes, of the dog. And like he's like with his tongue out. Yeah, bro, nah, like you got, you got me fucked up there. You got me fucked up. Like, no, I don't ship them. That's one of my icks, too. I put love triangle or threesome. I don't like when there's competition. I don't like when there's competition. I don't like I don't like threesomes. I like one love interest. That's all I need. And no sharing. Like you said, I don't want a threesome. <laughs> Me saying threesome instead of love triangle. <laughs> Same shit. Yeah. Well, no, no, because there could be a love triangle, but you're not fucking like, both of them at the same time. Love triangle and or threesome. And slash or threesome. Now you can't find it? No, I can't find it. I'm going to try okay. to find this on, on Pinterest. I'm going to find well, it. I'm going to find that motherfucker. Find it and I'll continue. Yes. I'm going to be talking while you look it up. Go. Cool. So, Speak. another one of my ex. <clears throat> I don't like when in a book, any book, I read mostly fantasy, but in any book, that the guy starts out as a villain. And then, oh, all of a sudden he's good. Oh, let me see. She found the fan art. That's a cute fan art. That's cute. You don't like it? Show like show it. the people. I kind of like it. Yeah, I think you like it. Oh. I kind of like it. I mean, Kieran looks... Oh, this is the scene! Yes! he fights her, and she's yeah. like rubbing up on Kieran, and he's like, whoa! <laughs> oh, here we go. Yeah. Here we go. Show it. <laughs> that turns into... She doesn't even know who's in which hole. Oh, oh look. This, this is a zoomed-in version. Oh, look at that. Oh, wow. Yeah, Kieran was like, I ain't doing it. He's like, ah. yeah. He's like, my hands are up here. He's like, that's I'm not doing it. I don't know. I don't know where he fucked her. It had to be up the ass. <laughs> Unless I don't know. I don't know. Honestly, don't know. but like the scene wasn't that it wasn't really. I was that confused, good. to be honest. Yeah. I was a little confused. Yeah, and all of a sudden they're like, she's like, I don't know where who was where mm. at what point. Yeah. If you're gonna do a scene. You should have done it. You should have. Yes, especially that they had been like talking about it since like book two. Yeah. Oh, the fucking what was it? The fucking oath. I don't know. I don't remember what it was. Dude, I, the blood. That kind of honest. The blood riot. The blood right. Right. Blood Something riot. like that. that I don't right. know, but but she kind of like fucked it up for me because like when you meet Castillo, I understand. Like Kieran and him are buddies. Back to the fucking buddies that should mm. be sharing their fucking girlfriends. <laughs> so like I understand that like the reasoning why they did it i don't want to give too much away just in case they haven't read it but when you meet castillo instantly in book one you know that there's no way he would share poppy but he changed his mind but clearly he fucking did he changed his mind clearly he fucking did i didn't like it um oh okay so what i was saying my bad you found the fan art so (laughs) The girlies know. <laughs> the girlies know. So, when the villain all of a sudden turns into a good guy, mm-hmm. like he started off, oh my god, like bad. he's so bad, I'm gonna he's kill you. so cruel, yeah. and then like oh, all of a sudden, like from behind the scenes, he's been actually yeah. the good guy. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. No, I want them to be evil. I want them to be possessive. I want them to be obsessed. Like kidnap me, baby. Like, Kidnap me, tie me up, handcuff me <laughs> to the bed, anywhere, <laughs> to the horse. I don't know. Handcuff me somewhere to your to your hands. I want him morally great. Yeah, it's and not to morally. Stay. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's not morally great if he turns morally was white. A good guy. <laughs> yeah. Uh, no. Like if you're gonna kill people, stay killing people, please. Yeah. yeah. Don't don't be um what is it saving people? No. If you're going to kidnap her, don't take her back to your bedroom, bro. Like no, keep her in the fucking dungeon. The fuck? Oh, not like that. <laughs> no, I want to go to the bed. 
<laughs> like give only treat me special you yeah, know like yeah, yeah, give yeah. me uh amenities right amenities amenities amenities, amenities? 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 yeah like the hotels <laughs> give me extra <laughs> shit toiletries toiletries give me shampoo mini shampoo conditioner what else do they give you in a hotel they give you little um, um robe q-tips q-tips slippers yeah, yeah that's slip. what i want yeah they <laughs> in what hotel <laughs> do they give you day <laughs> let me know just let me know <laughs> no i'm kidding I'm kidding I'm kidding jokes jokes people these are jokes yeah like so okay. <laughs> Are we on to the next one? Yeah, you're okay, 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 okay. So the next, the next ick. Ooh, this one. Bro. And I know, I know some of you guys have read this. When the male main character is a virgin, but apparently he knows how to fuck and fuck good. Oh, oh yeah. Explain to me. How much porn you be watching? And still. Well, if it's in a fantasy book. I don't know what they would do back then with porn. They'll fucking yeah, exactly. they'll draw it. Yeah, exactly. He's looking at drawings. Like caricatures. Realistically? Probably you trying to fucking put it in the wrong hole. Oh no. They don't know. They I'm probably don't to, know you got three holes down there. Yeah, I'm trying to put myself in a man's position. They probably try to save up your ass. Yeah. <laughs> I'll be like, that's the booty hole. <laughs> Shit comes out of there. <laughs> Because girls, it's pretty straightforward. It's a thing. You obviously know where to stick it. Yeah. <laughs> but guys, they probably they probably look at it like, where's the hole? Like at first. Or yeah, like, when you're like looking at it. <laughs> bro, they can't it. even find the fucking clay. And then all of a sudden, this motherfucker's going in, apparently. And she's like, oh my God, it's the uh, best I've ever had. Uh, you sure you haven't done it? He's like, nah. No, nah, what? <laughs> Nah. He's like, never. I waited for you. <laughs> you I, I lost it to you. Eh? Yeah. Nobody's ever done anything to me. I never done anything to anybody. Yeah, that's a good one. I just, I I don't see it being realistic. I don't, I don't know. I've never been with a virgin. So I don't know. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I, I have. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> no elaboration. Okay, let's, let's move no on. No explanation. Let's move on. <laughs> Anyways. Oh my god. Okay. Um, one of mine is when a book has no fucking character development, mm. when the main character has no personality. Or unseasoned chicken. Yes, unseasoned chicken. Elaine. <laughs> nah, you you bringing the haters over. <laughs> no, okay, so no personality, mm -hmm. no character development, mm -hmm. or if they're too cocky. Mm. I don't like when yeah. the fucking main characters yeah. are like, yeah, I could do everything. Yeah, uh, yeah I know my mm, dick big. Yeah, <laughs> like the guy could be cocky, but. When the female main character is cocky, I don't like it. You want like the guy to teach her? Mm, like, I just let's like, say, like if it's like fantasy. Would you want her to be a warrior already, or like for him to train her? For him to train her. Okay. I like yeah. an underdog story. Mm -hmm. I like for her to get good, not already be good. Mm -hmm. But when they're too cocky, and then like they get themselves into fucking problems for no reason, just because they're like, oh, like how dare you do this, this and that, like. Not my thing. It's not my thing. I feel that. Yeah. That's why, like, I, I like know. More of, like, when the girl, you kind of, like, don't see her coming. Mm -hmm. And then. She goes psycho. Yeah. Turns yeah. into a bad bitch. That's why I, uh, it's a very controversial opinion. But in Throwing a Glass, there were times when I didn't like Aelin. I didn't like her. Like, when, bro, come on. Yeah. When Manon no, was right in front of her, and this bitch goes like, oh, I killed this girl. Like, why? For what? When Manon was letting her go. Yeah. Because Manon was over it. She didn't want to fucking fight. Mm -hmm. She was letting her go. And Aelin was like, oh, Being by the way, like, I, I killed this girl. Bro, why? Why? The, the fucking mask humbled her. Continue. She needed that. <laughs> Character development. But there oh. were times, there were times I did like Aelin. But other times I just... I didn't. I didn't. Yeah. 
I mean, I hope, honestly, that doesn't happen with all of SJM's female characters. Because low-key in Crescent City, I mean, I love Bryce. But low-key in that last book, in Flame and Shadow. Yeah. Dude, Bryce? I wasn't fucking with her. The way she was training, huh? Nah, bro. Chill. Oh, my gosh. Chill, chill. See, you don't know what I went through. I'm like, bitch, you were literally in another, like, you were with... Asriel, the fuck? You were with Shadow yeah, Daddy. Fuck? You were fine, the fuck? He was holding her hand and everything. Hung was literally getting yeah. tortured. I know. I know. Kind of spoiler, y'all haven't. Oh, yeah, my no, bad. No, but Loki. I hope you skipped. I hope you skipped this part. Yeah. Okay, next. Next. My book, Ick. When the male main character is blonde. Like Tam Lan. Tam, that, Tam Lan. <laughs> that's a red flag. Tam Tam. That's a red flag. I'm sorry. Except, girl, for Aaron Warner. And Jax. Aaron Warner and Jax. We forgot about Jax. Those are the only two. Yeah, those are the only two. But Aaron fucking Warner. Oh, my God. You need to finish Shatter Me. Yeah, I do need to finish She it. hasn't finished it. Mm-hmm. It's so good. It's so good. But that's about it. That's about it. Aaron Warner. That, that's who else said. Because he... If had, you're blonde, yeah. I already feel like closing... In my, my head, I don't picture you blonde. You got dark hair. To me, it, like, depends sometimes if it fits the personality like i tend to picture guys blonde if their personality is very like golden retriever no not not golden retriever no more like spoiled like spoiled cocky like rich boy yes Uh, i tend to picture them blonde okay yeah but aaron warner it's that he started off like psycho like in book one and book two that man was insane it was insane and then oh, i can't i can't say i can't say much because you haven't read it but i need to i need to get to it you do this year the books go by fast yeah because they're pretty short yeah i will but as of now i don't fuck i don't fuck with you if you're blonde <laughs> that's a red flag as a man i don't fuck with as you man. yeah as a man as a man as a man you got blonde pubic hair I don't that's want the, you. Bro, that's exactly what it is. It you looked like a bird's nest. What you got up nest. there is like a little preview of what you got down there. And you know, I'm... Mm. Some, though sometimes the, the carpet doesn't match drapes. Sometimes they're somehow black down there. Black hair. Black hair. Oh, my <laughs> God. <laughs> I mean, I don't think... Is that... Let me know. Hmm? Hmm? They got black pubic hair and I've blonde never. as fuck. I've never seen a like a blonde blonde guy with naked. No, me either. <laughs> I was gonna say I was gonna say with dark pubes for sure. Oh. We'll go with. I haven't seen him naked. I know some people that do, but they've just told me that it was dark. That it was yeah, dark. it was like black, but they're blonde, yeah, like, like sure. natural blonde, like blonde blonde. Yeah, but they mm. have black. I don't know. I don't know. Not even like dusty or like. Peppered, peppered, dirty blondes, dirty blonde down there. No, black. No, they told me black. Damn. Yeah, they told me it looked like mine. <laughs> <laughs> you see this? <laughs> That's what it looked That's like. That's exactly what it looked like. Okay, yeah. so my other ick: when any of the main characters die, it's like I read this book for no reason. If you die, like, uh, uh it kind of just finishes there. I, I read books to escape. What you mean someone died? <laughs> like, what you mean? Bring them back. Bring them back to life. <laughs> right now. Right now. We know someone that brings them back, so that's good. It's GM, bro. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's GM brings everyone back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Especially I know people were characters. saying that they wanted, um, like, in Crescent City for one of the like, ma- um, main characters. To die? To die. And I was like. Was it hot? No, nah, they wanted Bryce to die. <gasps> Who would be the fucking main character? Not a man. Well, she oh, would just, Lydia. She would die, and that's it. Oh, that's, that's it. it. End, end of the end story. Of, yeah. Well, they did say that in Fourth Wing, it might end like that. Remember? Yeah. That well, they everything might be writing. is like uh, retrieved correspondences, right? Mm-hmm. So. So who knows? Maybe they all die. Honestly, if they all die, fuck it. You know, they all die. No. <laughs> Now, if, if Zayden dies... Oh, my God. If Shadow Daddy dies... He's the only one that could live. Actually, now that we brought up Fourth Wing, can uh-huh. we talk about the next book? Book yeah. three? What about it? They were they announced it. Yeah, 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 they did. 
Onyx <laughs> Storm. Onyx Storm. Like his eyes. Storm. Black as fuck. Which mm. no, yeah, now, they're, now they're not black. You know. Oh, they're red. <laughs> <laughs> My bad. Um, I hope you didn't hear that. I said blue. <laughs> <laughs> and then Storm, like Violet. You know, she got lightning. Oh my god. Yeah, that bitch. Oh my god. Get in a shelter. There's a storm outside. Bro, they're about to, I don't know what the fuck's gonna happen in that book. A bunch of shit. Honestly, I do feel like the theory of her being like part venom or like some shit because of her hair i forgot that it, that's what it was called yeah i feel like it could be true maybe maybe they could fuck that way be like, oh we, we're the same <laughs> why not right i'm sure they could figure something out you know yeah maybe we'll see i guess can the book not be as long please bro that shit's coming out please. like 2025 please, please. like what what is it january 21st i think so yeah 2025 Please, Rebecca. It's never that serious. Don't make the book that long. I need another throne scene. The fuck? I need I need Zayden to become king. I feel like they're gonna have like a breakup. Yeah. Especially if there's gonna be five books. Yeah. I feel like probably they're gonna try to salvage what they have yeah. in book three. And they're already, I feel like it's gonna end with them like separating. And they're already a little rocky, so... Yeah. They're probably gonna separate. That's one of my eggs too. Hold Honestly, on. Honestly, I feel like she, maybe she'll get taken, By and now. then he's gonna rescue her. Cause I feel like book three is gonna be like her saving him type of vibes. Yeah, unless she like gives up. <laughs> she's bad. Who's and she's like, "There's no saving you." Who would be like another love interest for her? Dane. Oh, no, Dane. I don't trust that motherfucker. I don't want no fucking. Everyone thinks that he's that there's gonna be a love triangle. Uh-huh. Ick. Mm-hmm. She doesn't like that motherfucker. Ick, she doesn't like that motherfucker. She used to, but not anymore. She experienced Satan. And it all changed. In that throne. In yeah. the shower. Oh, yeah. She said, Dane, who? I would want to experience that. Mm-hmm. Moving on. Anyways. She doesn't want to experience anything. Anyways. Me? Yeah. Oh, I want to experience many things. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you stay quiet. I'm just, I'm not going to say it. Mm. But I, I do want to experience some things. Mm. With many fictional men. <laughs> 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 kidding. You put them all into a room. Who would you pick? Everyone? Mm, yeah. You know who my number one is. Castillo. Would you, would you? He's not my number one after what happens. I know, but he'll. But. He's in my heart. Would you would you consider like the sharing trope at that point? Oh, fuck yeah. <laughs> what? Or like like a love triangle? If it was Castile and someone else? Would you consider it? Would you break your bookic? <laughs> would you break your bookic? <laughs> is that in my head? I'd be like, oh my god, this is so hard. It's such a decision to make. I'd have to fuck both of them. I wouldn't even question it. You would do it? Yeah, fuck yeah. I'm bringing my book in. Fuck. Um. <laughs> one time. Y'all don't gotta know. Just one time? Just one time. Yeah. Okay, so if um, if they were all in the same room, who would you pick? I'm throwing the question back at you. <laughs> <laughs> like everyone? everyone? Everyone. Any book boyfriend that everyone. everyone. You'll walk in Zane and they're medals. like, hey, Isa. Zade Medals? You would pick him? No, I wouldn't. Oh. Um, I'd be like, mm. I pretty. I feel like he would show me a crazy time, but <laughs> it don't fit apparently. <laughs> <laughs> He'd be like, "I'm gonna show you a new position." Knees to ears. <laughs> Woo! I'd already be like, "Nah, it's not gonna work out." Let's, let me pick someone else. It's not gonna work out. I yeah. feel like it would be. Can I do like two? Can I do like yeah, sure. fantasy let's and then two. okay? Yeah, fantasy, yeah. Let's fantasy, do two. Fantasy. Let's do two. Lately, lately. I would probably have to pick. I'm gonna go with Hunt and Azrael. Ooh. Or Dorian and Azrael. That's a good one. That's a good one. Yeah. You know, like if I do Azrael and Dorian, it'll be like shadow that I wouldn't be able to see, you know? I don't know what's coming. You don't wanna see? <laughs> <laughs> you don't know what's gonna happen. 
Oh yeah, I guess that's the same like thing surprise. as getting blindfolded. But girl, I want to see. <laughs> I want to be able to see those motherfuckers. <laughs> then if you had to be like, show me your penis. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> show me the good Sing them out. Put down those pants. Let me see those balls. <laughs> Who do you think's bigger, to be honest? This conversation is getting way out of hand. I still got three bookings to go through. <laughs> who do you think is more, like, who do you think is more popping? Bigger? Yeah. I feel like Azrael Bro, got that. I feel like Azrael got Azrael. that. Shlong! <laughs> I know he's hiding it in there. Uh, he's tucking it yeah. in. With them shadows. Yeah. He's like, I don't see the solution. I feel like from smallest to biggest, mm-hmm. for some reason, I feel like Hunt is in the bottom. You think Hunt's in the yeah, bottom? Yeah, I think Dorian is middle, and I think Azra is top. Damn, I was gonna say, I was low key gonna say like Dorian, then Hunt, then. I don't know. Dorian gives big dick yeah, energy. Yeah, low key, I feel like they all got big dicks, but I feel like Manon, she wouldn't get with a small dick. Mm, hell no, with nah. a chode. Nah, nah she'll be like, nah. what? She'll <laughs> cut it off <laughs> with her nail. <laughs> you you don't need you yeah. barely use it anyways. So low key, yeah. mm, that's true. So low key, I don't know, like. But yeah, probably Azrael Hunt or Azrael and Dorian. If it was romance wise, non fantasy. Uh huh. I feel like, let me pick a, a cowboy. I would want to fuck a cowboy. Yo! Why not? For the it's mine. <laughs> Tastes like mine. Tastes like mine. You know, I'm reading that book right now. Um, But besides the point. Okay. I think it would have to be. <laughs> You know what? Put me in a room with Theo and Cade. I don't know this from the though. Chestnut series. Chestnut. Yeah. <laughs> Elsie sounds Silver? like a horse. Is is there a horse called Chestnut? I'll make those daddies a daddy again. They're daddies already. Yeah, they're daddies already. Oh my god! That means he gonna give attention to the kid. Nah, bro. Where's my attention? I'm. Yeah. Hmm. You're gonna be like, oh, sorry, I can't hang out. I need to take care of my child. Yeah, one of them was already a daddy. You know, but I like the single dad. You know, I know. I like the single dad. But like to to marry, you would marry some like you marry. Depends where the baby mama is. She might be fucking crazy. If she's like dead, Mm. or (laughs) if she's dead, then there's so many good memories there. They're gonna be like, oh wow. Yeah, Loki. Nah, nah, nah. Loki. I think she would have to be like bad. Yeah. Like she would like have to abandon the kid. Yeah, Yeah, and then died. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> kill that bitch. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. Let's continue. Let's continue. Yeah. Apologies if you are. Are you gonna go? No, me. No, you, you, you. Great. Um. Well, we mentioned one already. The whole breakup for no reason mm-hmm. thing. When they break up for no reason, it's like it doesn't make sense. Yeah, mm-hmm. I don't sure. like that. Um, and then uh, like predictable storylines is an ick of mine like i feel like all fantasy books Lately, nowadays are the fucking the same, same. copy paste. she's a princess obviously hidden hidden princess maybe like mm. she's from a god she's a descendant of a god somebody yeah. is apparently alive always someone that they thought died which is the yeah. reason why they became this way uh-huh. then they turn out they're not dead mm-hmm. the betrayal i see it coming you know what i mean yeah like I, I'm okay with seeing a betrayal coming, but when I could guess what the betrayal is. Yeah, yeah. No, when you could kind of, like, guess everything, like, bro, what are you guys doing? Like, just, like, Copy changing paste? names? Copy, paste? Yeah, like, I don't understand what the fuck, I don't know. Lately, yeah. I've been in a heavy, heavy reading slump. Me too. Me too. One of the reasons why this is not a book. Video? Video. Any. Even though people want more Penelope, Penelope Douglas. Penelope Douglas. I've read Birthday Girl. Or if you guys think that she should read Birthday Girl, comment down below. <laughs> and we'll do... If they want my reaction. We'll Mr. Pike. Pike Larson? His name's Pike? Yeah, Pike. That's a little ugly. Yeah, low-key. But I mean... <laughs> I still fuck. I'll be like... Shh. Be like, you're, I'm changing your name. Yeah. It's not Pike. So just it's call him Babe. It's just Mike. Babe. You just call him Babe. It's Mike. Or Bebe. Or, or Mike. <laughs> or Mike, sure. Okay. Any any other ones? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. I got. Girl, I got I'm I running out. I got, I got one left. More. I don't like when there's a lot of K 
characters in a book. Same. When I start reading a book and I meet this fucking person and then this person and then the fucking cousin and then this cousin and then this person lives over here and this person is the person that works in the corner store. Y'all got me fucked mm-hmm. up, bro. There's way too many people's names that I gotta be memorizing and half the time they're irrelevant. And then when they finally do show up in a like certain section of a book, I'm completely fucking lost. I don't know who that person is anymore. Like I... I, I get frustrated. I get frustrated. <laughs> like I see. I see. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> or if there's too many couples. Yes. Like, too many storylines mm. yeah, going many sto- on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Unless it's going to be like romance books and it's like a series and then each yeah, couple different. has a book. Like their own book. Yeah. But, but if in the same book there's different couples, that's overwhelming as yeah. fuck. You know what confuses me too? When authors get characters from another series, which I do like this. Mind you, I do like it. But sometimes I'm like, like you kind of have to read, even though they tell you you don't have to read series like in order. Like let's say if they have like this one series and then they they start writing another series. Sometimes they'll bring in characters from like the first series into the second one. Yes. And they're like, oh, you guys don't need to read the first one. Yeah, bitch, I do. Because then they start talking about this fucking person and I have no idea who the fuck they are. Mm-hmm. And apparently they're like their fucking cousin or brother or sister yeah. or some shit. Yeah, usually. Yeah. And, and then their story was in the other book. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then you kind of like figure like a kid fucking pops out of nowhere. And I'm like, whoa, what happened? <laughs> so then I can't read that book because I obviously I know that they end up together. And they got yeah, a baby, exactly. You know what I, mean? yeah, yeah, yeah. I know what you're right I do that all the time, though, with like historical romance books. Where you like skip around? I uh, like, choose the book in the series that I like the storyline the most. I'll do that, too. Like within a series. Yeah. 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 And then I just don't read the other books. But y'all been making a whole fucking universe up in here. Yeah. Like, confusion. Hello. Yeah, girl. Yeah. Okay. Another one. I don't really like time jumps. Oh, That's yeah. That's a big book kick for me. Yeah, like, same. That's a good one. Dude, there... I think I read... Which, I like the book. It was... Let me not say like. Hmm? Let me just say I read this book. It was by... Jennifer Hartman, I think, June 1st. Bro, it's like time jumps within like 30 years. Oh, that's so much. There, dude, I, I have no words, honestly. That's no way words. too much. Too many time jumps. Too many time jumps. I kind of don't fuck with that. I get confused. I get confused. I want an easy read. Yeah. If it's not fantasy, why are you confusing me up in here? Mm-hmm. I want to know what's been going on. Yeah, exactly. I want to experience it together. Yeah. Like, the book that I finished reading now, they kind of knew each other in the past. So you get, like, scenes that were in the past. But it's only, like, within a year. Like, we're not going from, like, 2010, then something happens in 2015, then something happens in 2018, then this person fucking dies in 2020, then they came back in 2025. I I don't give a fuck. <laughs> I literally don't give a fuck. Get to the fucking point. Yeah. I understand that they weren't together and then they end up together. I get you. I get you. I agree. That was a good one. Yeah. Another big one for me. One of my most biggest book icks. The miscommunication. Oh, yeah. I fucking my hate it. God. If y'all had one conversation, there wouldn't be a fucking book. There yeah, literally wouldn't be a fucking book. But one conversation. You... Like, I understand sometimes, but you can't base the plot of a book based on, like, them not talking or, like, they got into a fight and words weren't said and they just left it at that. Mm -hmm. And then, like, years later, they decide to fucking bring it up and it was, like, something so fucking stupid. So stupid. Which is kind of what you said earlier. Like, when they break up for no reason. Yeah. Yeah. It's you know, pointless. Yeah, I just it's it's not my thing. It's not my thing. I feel like it's kind of written for no fucking reason. Y'all couldn't come up with a better fucking plot or like Yes. It feels like lazy writing. Yes. Which you know, like I'm not an author, so like <laughs> we don't write but yeah. that's what I'm saying. You know, these are just our to opinions. Me, to me it feels lazy. Yes. I kinda don't fucks with it. Yeah. Well I have I have one more. I have one more too, so go. Oh, okay, okay. Fade to black. No, I want to know what goes where. 
<laughs> I want to know everything. I want to know. I want to know what they I get into. All the details. I want to know what it looks like. Everything. Yeah. First, how first, many hairs? I want to. I want to know how you're feeling. How many hairs? Huh? <laughs> first, I want to know how you're feeling about what. Like you know, like <laughs> what, like in, when you're in that scene. In that. Uh, when you're in that. that good. Scene, I'm. You know, I like, think. Right. Like, mm-hmm. tell me. Then, I want to know what you see. Okay. Right? Okay. Then I want to know how it feels. Okay. Yeah. Like, I don't know. I want everything. Mm-hmm. So and much, dirty talk. Yes. As much, yeah, bro. Please. You, oh, my God. Am I fucking a mute, bro? Am Please, I dirty talk. Mute? I don't want no, like. <clears throat> That's all. No. no. Caleb 2.0. Or just, like, explaining how it feels. I don't want that. I want dirty. Mm-hmm. I want I want to be like, oh, you like that? Like, it's good? And she's like, yeah. He's like, I want your bag. And she's like, ah, ah. And he's like, bag. <laughs> and then she's like, oh, please. I like it. Stick your dick in. Yeah. That's my last dick. That's why I stay away from YA. I'm not against YA, but yeah. I stay away from it. Some some YAs, though, be a little. Some YAs be a little. Mm. I'm like, I don't know if I would give this book to my child. I don't have children, by the way, but, you know, if I did. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. It's kind of like. Like, you could tell what they're you, doing. You could tell. You could tell. It's like all of a sudden his head was down where? Yeah, yeah, yeah. When our bodies united. I was like. Oh, really? United how? They weren't hugging. The other day I read some shit and it was like his fruit ripened. What? <laughs> what the <laughs> fuck? He has a fruit? <laughs> Why does he have a fruit? It's a banana, apparently. Ew. <laughs> it ripened? When it gets ripe, doesn't it get soft? <laughs> <laughs> It gets brown. Oh, and squishy. Oh, so no key, it does that's good. flaccid. Yeah, it's fruit well, got maybe flaccid. When it's like ripe enough to eat. When it's like really mm-hmm. yellow. Mm-hmm. Good enough to suck. <laughs> <laughs> it's ready for sucking, yeah. for some milking. Mm. <laughs> yeah. I would assume they would use that for a woman. Some of the word choices are a little interesting. Yeah, very interesting. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so your last okay. one. My last one. Actually, I have two more. I for- oh, okay. I forgot one. Okay. I, this is like very, it doesn't happen in all books, but I kind of don't fuck with when they bring um, body shaming. Okay. Into yeah. the book. Like, why? Mm-hmm. Like, why make that a point in the book? And I feel like authors sometimes tend to do that where like, Let's say the girl's like mid size or plus size. Okay, you make the character mid size or plus size. Okay, good. But then the girl's like super insecure. Yeah, exactly. Why? <clears throat> like I don't understand the reasoning, and it's kind of like fucked up. It's very fucked up. Like I don't understand where did you process that you could put that into a book yeah. and it would be okay. Or when the author goes out of their way. To kind of make the male main character reassure her for being a certain size. Yeah. It's like, bro, that's fucking normal. Mm-hmm. Like, I'm sorry. Now everyone's looking like fucking supermodels yeah. and like fucking skinny as fuck. No. It's like. It, There's curvy bitches. Like, we got some meat on us. Steady light is normal. It's mm-hmm. fucking stretch marks. Yeah. I'm fuck? full of stretch marks. <laughs> yeah, bro. It's okay. Like, and they cute too. Yeah, fuck. My hip dips. I love my hip dips. Exactly. I don't want to look perfect. You like shouldn't want people, to look perfect. These people, they kind of write, I feel like the typical, like, I don't know. And sometimes, like, even by word choices. And I still, like, like the books, obviously. But everything is, like, tight. They reference everything to tight. Mm-hmm. Like, bitch, I'm sorry, but, like, I got arms. Like, I got <laughs> tummy. Like, bitch, I don't, like, work out every fucking day. I'm telling you, my abs are not tight. Yes, exactly. Like, tight ass. Yeah. Nah, you could grab onto my ass yeah. real good. The fuck? <laughs> Get something to grab onto. Like, um, yeah, yeah. And I 100% agree. I'm going to bring a book into this. And I don't mm-hmm. know if, like... I'm not okay. hating. That's all I'm going to say. First of all, first of all, I just want to say that another book in that same series is... One of my favorite, well, the f- favorite book of mine for 2023, which was Caught Up by Liz Tom Ford. That was my favorite book of 2023. But back to the topic of body shaming and just the whole conversation about bringing, you know, just 
body talk. The first book in the series, which is Mile High, that female main character is plus size. Okay. And I feel like one of the reasons why I didn't like the book was because of that reason. Because she was plus size, but she was insecure about her body basically her whole life. And the guy was like always reassuring her like, oh, you know, like it's okay. Like I love your body, oh whatever. But then the girl is the one that's like feeling this way. And I'm kind of like, why? Like why not make her plus size, but make her a bad bitch? Mm-hmm. Exactly. Like, make her happy in comfortable her body. yeah like i don't understand the reason why you have to be plus size and not happy with your body mm-hmm. like that's i don't know it's again it's normal and then this is an issue that i have with fucking ai art because yeah. ai art oh they're all perfect they mm-hmm. all got fucking their entire face fucking done beat to the gods with hella makeup yeah. they have like big beautiful lips mm-hmm. oh beautiful features like no it's too perfect that I see it ugly. I want like unique features mm-hmm. on someone. Don't like change your features uh, unless of course you're really really unhappy with it and it's going to make you happier to change certain things in your body and your face. That's fine as long as it makes you feel happier. Yeah. But, but do all it for these you, arts, don't do it for someone else. All these arts look the fucking same. They look the same. There's no uniqueness to yeah. it. There's no downturn noses. Everything is like, "Oh, perfect little button nose yeah there's no thin lips all of them got fucking mm, some big beautiful lip. lip filler lips mm. they all got like beautiful gorgeous eyes not one of them got a lazy eye no you don't see like <laughs> their, <laughs> their eyebrows oh another perfect. thing Everything. bro authors got like a thing against girls with brown eyes oh when yeah. the fuck do you see a girl with no. brown eyes nah bro it's described honey colored nah <laughs> honey they got colored. like these whiskey eyes these fucking oh eyes are like the color of the fucking sea I'm yes like, no oh, bitch <laughs> uh, anyway and then yeah like, then we could get into another topic the fucking diversity yeah. but yeah unless this, this yeah a because it'll be it turns to a whole nother conversation <laughs> yeah but back to what you were saying about the fan art mm-hmm. when did i see a lot like a lot being fucked up is poppy from yes. blood and ash bro when you read blood and ash poppy is on the bigger side yes she's not this like super fucking skinny girl and like they always make her so fucking thin and bro she has scars mm-hmm. on her fucking face they make her scars like give a fucking like oh I don't beautiful know, like, scratched by a fucking yeah, it's beautiful yeah, it's like, like she did them herself yeah <laughs> when this bitch literally got fucking attacked so, like mm-hmm. yeah I, I, exactly yeah that's just dude that's not what she looks like yeah and that's that's a big one that yeah. i always constantly see yeah. but always. yes yeah. <laughs> anyways they always do it so mm. i'm like i don't know who else i'm trying to think who else do they do i don't know oh well bryce yeah bryce is supposed to be curvy that's true and that's they true. make her fucking skinny they make her so fucking skinny they make yeah. her literally look like yeah she even says it when she used to be like a dancer that she was one of the bigger dancers. That she didn't have a typical ballerina mm-hmm. body. And they make these people fucking look like toothpicks. Yeah. I just... Uh, I'm not into it. Yeah. So that's a good one. That is that is a good one. I had to bring it up because... Yeah, girl, we got into a good-ass discussion. <clears throat> okay. Mm. okay. Should we leave it at that? Or should we... You have one more? more? I have one more. Which is not really a big one, but... And this is more for fantasy books okay not really for romance books because i know that sometimes romance books are like modern day and they'll like bring up i kind of don't like when they bring up tiktok i kind of don't like that but like in books they bring up tiktok yes yeah, i hope not up. in a fantasy no, no. <laughs> but i don't like when fantasy books use modern slang yeah i agree <laughs> like it, it throws me off whack i'm like Wait, what? what? I'm like, we're supposed to be like in the 1800s. What do you and mean? These people are literally talking like the way that I text. Yeah, <laughs> for real. So yeah. I don't know. It's just kind of on my thing. And I know that it's hard for authors to do because it's like probably just the way that it's our day to day conversation. Mm-hmm. It's probably the same way that they talk day to day, too. So when they're writing a book, I'm sure that it's like harder for them to be like, ah, oh, fuck, like maybe I shouldn't add this into the book or I should word it differently. 
So like I understand, but I'm kind of like mm, like sometimes it doesn't make any sense. Yeah, it doesn't. Make it any doesn't sense. fit. It doesn't no. fit. Yeah. It doesn't fit the storyline. Mm. But yeah, those were good. Mm-hmm. Did you like mine? I liked yours. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, we got into a good, a we really got, good discussion. We got into a good discussion there. Yep. But yeah, guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed. Mm-hmm. Definitely go check out TikTok so you can enter the giveaway. Yes. I guess I'll explain the rules here really quick. So, I mean, obviously, you know, like, follow and comment. Mm-hmm. Comment your favorite book, Bestie, on TikTok. Not here. Don't do it here. Here meaning, I don't know, wherever you're listening to this. <laughs> but go on TikTok. You do that. And if you win, you have the option of picking a Barnes & Noble gift card. Or we could book, book for, for you, you a book of your choosing from your Amazon wish list. list, whatever you want. Yeah. If you want a specific one, you could tell us. Yeah. Just don't make it like fifty dollars. Yeah. Just in case you're not comfortable with sending your your email. Yeah. yeah. In case you don't, we would you don't want email. to see yeah. your email. I we mean. understand privacy, privacy. You know, I mean, twenty twenty four. There's we're not some gonna... crazy ass bitches up in here. You know, we talk about some crazy stuff. Yeah, but we're, we're not psycho. Clearly. Clearly not. But... We're just horny ass bitches. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we're not gonna hit you up or yeah. anything. Oh my god. Okay, wait. Before we close off this video, I have to talk about something have to talk about something and i know like it's just been pissing me off and i've been seeing it on tiktok lately did you see the video about the guy that said that all women read nowadays is basically porn you haven't seen that video no, that's been like but, going all around tiktok but what's the problem with that no apparently he has a problem with it we're apparently like stupid fucking bitches for reading fucking for reading porn. porn when fucking men have been watching porn Actual for ages porn. you do realize that a book is fiction that's why most men can't fucking get it up because they keep watching porn. Like it's guys okay. like that. He's probably still a virgin. Let's be honest. He probably got a small dick. Yeah. That's how it is. He insecure hates, as fuck. Yeah, he hates himself. Yeah. <laughs> you I wish hate men. You wish that you were a fictional man. Yeah. I'm sorry, but but I had to bring it up because that is literally fucking insane, and I didn't know like we were judging women for what they read in 2024. Men are always judging women, girl. Mm-hmm. It'd be people Always. like that that let me not even say it, but it's gonna get into a whole other conversation. Oh no! But yeah, <laughs> uh, I just can't with men. Yeah, I can't with men. We should honestly, women should rule the world. We should not allow men as presidents anymore. <laughs> I think don't we have like I mean I don't know if we do, but do we have any male followers? I'm sure we do some. I don't know, maybe. Yeah, there's like guys on Book Talk. Yeah, yeah, but they read the smut too. The fuck. It was just he. Uh, you didn't show me the video. Yeah, I'm gonna show you this video. He looks like a little fucking shrimp. Anyway, he got a little shrimp. Yeah. probably. <laughs> He's shrimp. All but around. anyways, yeah. Anyways, girlies, there's no shame in reading porn. Men have been watching porn for ages, and now that we're enjoying porn, ah, uh, that's ah. a problem. That's Bro, a problem. Even if you, like, don't read porn and you decide to watch it yes it doesn't matter it's kind of not up to their fucking it's not their business but men always love to be in our business so what can you do about it the only thing we could do is keep doing whatever the fuck we feel like doing Mm -hmm. and that's so read your porn read your porn watch it if you want to it doesn't Mm -hmm. matter do both yeah let's just make men mad (laughs) love that but okay guys Thank you so much yep. for watching this video. Again, thank you for all the love, support, mm-hmm. the likes, the comments. We can love you guys. To keep on growing. Yeah. I would love to like meet some of you guys. But. Please. <laughs> Honestly, where is it that we have like our. What? Can we like say where we're from? Where? I'm not going to say where. We're in Florida. We're in Florida. We're in Florida. We're I'm Florida. not going to say what city we're at. I feel like but, they got a good idea. <laughs> but, yeah, especially with the way that we talk. With the accent. But, but. You know, if you guys do live close by, I would love to meet up. Oh, my God. That would be so fun. At least, you know, it's kind of hard, especially if you don't really know anyone that reads books. Mm -hmm. It's kind of hard to find like a friend. Yeah. And even today, like on our giveaway video, someone even commented they don't have a book bestie. I know. That's so sad. That's really sad. Girl, who you talk to about books? Yeah. Like, <laughs> I'll go fucking crazy if I don't talk to anyone. I know. Imagine, yeah. like, especially if, like, they don't read the book and you're just talking to, like, your boyfriend, for example, and they're like, yeah. oh, they're like, I don't give a fuck. Yeah. They stop talking. Yeah. They act like they care. Let's yeah. be honest, but they really don't. They're like, wow. Yeah. Amazing. 
amazing. Amazing, wow. Love it. Uh, but yeah. But okay, guys. Thank you. Love you. Mm-hmm. Till next time. Till next time. Bye. Bye.